<laughs> well, they're not all that bad, depending on how they're cooked. Well, I guess we'll disagree on that one. <laughs> okay, we'll agree to disagree, but we can agree that the weather is nice this morning. Yes. Uh, so we'll begin with that a positive note. Looking live from the BJCC over downtown Birmingham, hardly a cloud in the sky. Uh, the temperatures are running in the 60s. Uh, we're between around 65 to 68 degrees. Tuscaloosa, just a notch warmer now, uh, 69 uh, there in uh, West Alabama. But we're not expecting any type of rainfall this morning. So if you're heading out early, anything travel-wise, uh, the weather, uh, not an issue for you. Uh, a few showers, not out of the question later on this afternoon, but overall still very similar conditions to what we had yesterday with highs in the mid to upper 80s. Uh, lots of sunshine there in the morning with a few clouds developing uh, by the afternoon hours. Still have this stalled boundary over southeast Alabama extending into Georgia, and that will help to initiate a few sprinkles. The, the main area of light rainfall, we'll call it very light, spotty over the eastern part of the state, but even there, places like Anniston, uh, Oxford, back up to Gadsden, Hoax Bluff, uh, Southside, uh, Center, your chance of getting wet still on the lower end, about a 2 in 10 chance for any given location to receive a brief sprinkle, that, meaning it most of us will stay dry, and if you do receive something, not going to last very long. So we'll begin our future cast early uh, this Sunday morning. We are mostly clear this morning, and notice some clouds beginning to pop back up by afternoon, some of those uh, white puffy clouds, a couple of rogue showers over the eastern part of the state, but if you're traveling off into Georgia, to back toward Atlanta, uh, there's a, a higher chance for you to get wet, but even there, nothing all that widespread. And then tomorrow morning, heading back to work in the 60s, and then by tomorrow afternoon, very similar again to th the situation We'll have today a few widely spaced showers developing, but certainly nothing severe as far as uh, thunderstorm coverage. Now, the actual humidity levels will begin to ramp up in intensity just a bit by the middle part of this week. And then finally, it, it does appear that a cold front will arrive also by midweek, and that will bring some refreshing air uh, toward next weekend. But in the meantime, let's kind of talk about what's happening off in the Atlantic because the tropics are still very active. We have Hurricane Lee, uh, fortunately, still weakening. Remember Friday, this was a major Category 5 hurricane, and now it's down to a Category 2. Sustained winds at 105 miles per hour, uh, located well north of the Leeward Islands, continuing to track west, but will make a sharp turn toward the north uh, well before reaching the east coast. But likely the northeast coast by the late next week and next weekend will receive some, uh, some rough surf and impacts from this. A minimum impacts as of right now, but still something we'll have to watch very carefully. Uh, Tropical Storm Margo farther out in the Atlantic over open water. This is no threat to land and it will continue to track on off to the north. Uh, but around here, plenty of sunshine this morning, a couple showers developing by afternoon. Uh, same thing during the day tomorrow as that gradual warming trend will take us back to the upper 80s uh, through the first part of this week and then dipping back down to the second half of the week and next weekend. Jim. It's a